and welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to part B to the 200th episode of We Love Gemini. Gymnastics, bitch. What's the tea, everybody? What's going on? Y'all love the long intro, don't y'all? Y'all know I personally love it the, to watch y'all complain about the long intro. That's why every time Addis be like, what intro should we play? I'd be like, the long one. It is me. It is me. <laughs> How you guys doing? It's our 200th episode, everybody. Can y'all believe we have had 200 episodes of this bullshit? Can y'all believe that we've had 200 episodes of us talking shit about gymnastics? Can y'all believe about we've had 200 episodes about the education of gymnastics? <laughs> Michaela Skinner actually started the long intro. Please. Please see yourself out. If it wasn't for Michaela Skinner, give that woman her dues. If it wasn't for Michaela Skinner, there would be no We Love Gymnastics. Uh, I feel like there still would be one. Maybe it wouldn't be like as shady. Because you wouldn't feel so, so emboldened. I feel like the, whatever, the one episode that I was going off on Michaela is going to really put me as an individual vlogger on the map. And then I start opening doors up for other opportunities for me, which led into me meeting you, which led into the show starting. So if it wasn't for me cussing out Michaela Skinner, I would still be like that nothing trans girl blocker that people were digging them about. So let, let's explain why it's 200 episodes. So last time that we celebrated 100, I counted wrong, and it was actually 127. And since then, we've done however many more episodes, which means that we're this is this is officially 200. This morning was 200. This is 201. Duke, my friend, I asked the very same question when Addis told me this. This was the very same conversation. I'm like, bitch, you telling me we've done like 80 something episodes? But I hadn't been working, so we was doing like three episodes a week. So yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, they piled up. They piled up. We're 200 episodes deep now. Uh, so tonight, we'll, we're going to have a few guests. They'll be rolling in now, you know, as the night progresses. Um, I, I want to talk about some things that I'm proud of of this show. Go for it. One of the things I'm proud of of this show, most of all, is that we are able to discuss LGBTQ topics. Like, I know we're primarily a gymnastics show. But I'm also happy that we're able to spread some kind of word, spread some kind of information about other things that are going on in the world. I mean, we love gymnastics, we all do, but we also understand that, you know, we live in a time of uncertainty and some of the things that we are talking about, like, I really am not going to go into politics, but next year I really want to, because we're going to have a whole other election coming up again. Yeah. So I really think it's important that we at least rush on certain topics on this show. And I'm very proud that we can have these conversations. I'm also proud that we are have been able to shine such a huge spotlight on gymnasts of color. I really feel like, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, motherfucker, that if it was not for us in this show, a lot of gymnasts that are have some notoriety within the gymnastics community would not have those same level of notoriety, not because of us particularly, just because other platforms just was not, they were shining a platform on queer athletes, but when it came to specifically black athletes, people were as willing to jump head first into those issues as they were other people. Um, something else I'm very proud of on this show is the growth that I can see, because I was like really watching some of the old episodes, the growth I can see of the show. We're nowhere near as messy as we used to be. The quality of the show has improved greatly. Um, We've really fostered a community. 
we foster the community, we foster the fan base. Um, I want to say this too because I was watching. I was going through because I barely. If I, every time I go through my check my analytics, I just go through the YouTube app. I barely go through YouTube Studios, but I went through my YouTube Studios and it allowed me to see people who commented on videos that sometimes the YouTube app doesn't show. And I just really want to say this. Oh, did you see the comment that I saw? Yeah, it really just takes a very special person to input yourself on something that absolutely had nothing to do with you, and then to when I dislike people, I this is why I can't be a liberal, right? Going into, I'm not I'm not a Republican, but I'm just not a liberal because this liberal mindset really hurts my pussy cheeks. Right. I'm putting down the t shirt, it hurts my pussy cheeks. Um with dollar signs with the S's. You don't like something or somebody. That doesn't mean the rest of the universe has not to like that something or somebody. Body. Because you disagree with certain, certain, certain somebody's opinion, that doesn't mean the greater universe has to disagree with that. Group. I mean, has to agree with Phil, right? And it just really feels, it's just very, I even feel like y'all started the hype on the police train. Oh, dude, that's not, you're not me. I feel like we were very heavily involved in I think police our life. Um, but I just personally feel because we're not gonna be messy at it. I feel I see it in your face, the mess coming along. I have no mess, I have nothing. Okay. I just feel like if you don't fuck with us, why why do you follow us wherever where we go? Like, why do you why wouldn't you block us off of one platform, cool. Why didn't follow us to another like why not try to make peace in the situation? That's what I'm saying. Like I understand why you don't like people. I understand that addicts has been very, very harsh towards you and even misgendering you and stuff like that. And you probably feel like how could I as a trans person sit up here and co-sign that? The reason why is when you sit up here and blatantly call somebody a pedophile knowing damn well they're, they're not, I feel like the gloves are off. That leads into something else I want to talk about in this show, which is this lady in this damn brick. Because it is it's really pissing me off too. But you can't sit up there and be like, I have the right to sit up there and spew all kind of vitriol that I want to towards people. But people should not say anything back towards me because I'm perfect and I'm an angel and I'm innocent. The world just don't like, if you if you want to sit up there and say the nasty shit about people, people have the right to say the nasty shit back about you. And I very wholeheartedly try very hard to be neutral about all of this because clearly I love Addis. Addis is one of my best friends in the world. But on the other side, I love you too. I don't understand why It's very easy to not like somebody and never have to talk to them, never have to speak to them, never have to act like that, that person is this in this room. But then when you go after people, when 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 you when you purposely try to shit on other people's hopes and dreams, I just don't know how then you wanna act like you're the victim and all of this stuff like I just I have no, I have nothing to say about that. Cause you know why? I've chosen no. peace, and that's it. Like, you don't have to attend every argument, especially the argument was not about you. You don't have to make. It's just like if you're gonna go after me, go after me. Don't go. Don't do it on like Michaela stuff. 
If you don't like me, come up to me like, hey, I don't like you, and here are the reasons why. And you know what? I'll have a conversation with you. I'm I'm totally okay with that. Well, but I don't I don't want them to because I feel like they personally for whatever reason, it's this weird thing where some people will watch my solo stuff but not watch us together as we love gymnastics. And I guess it's you know it's my Michaela loves gymnastics YouTube channel, so I guess so. I guess, but whatever. It's I just I just want peace. I don't I, want. Yeah, I just want peace. And I don't want beef. I don't want hatred. I don't want anger. You know like, what? The reason we, why we, we are not. I know it was a, for a very long time. We would come back swinging. We would come back swinging for every fucking thing. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry. But you know what? They don't get that from us anymore. So let's move on. Fuck them. No, but all I'm saying is we could all get so much more accomplished if it was more unity. I feel like with this gymnastics community and the gay community, well, no, not, I don't know. I just feel like this gymnastics community mirrored the black community so much. This is why I always try to tie in black issues and gay issues because I see so many similarities in, with any smaller group of, of a community within the larger diaspora of a community or whatever. And okay, I bitch, you ten dollar word diaspora, bitch. I no, I just meant that y'all have made a platform for these girls. Not trying to be shitty. Well, you can say to Darion on here in a second when she comes on. Yeah, Darion is coming on. We got to have her brother coming on. We're going to have Tiki. So we let me. Well, we might as well put a chair up for Tiki at this point in time. <laughs> let me explain why I titled the episode Addicts Eats Crow. Because, as you know, let me make myself big. I'm sorry, I'm give me two seconds. Uh, so, as you know, as you know, uh, I famously said that I would eat crow if SUNY. Lee competed in the classic. Well, bitch, crows are protected species here in Texas, so I cannot do that. But I have the 2023 One Chip Challenge, which I, huh, which I was going to do for a world stream, but but one miss, Darion Goburn, wanted to watch me do it, so I will gladly do it for our queen on this today's That's episode. Big. Because now we can do the chip that I want to try for worlds. World. So here it I'm is. Another brand of chip. It's just I don't. It's probably the same as that thing. Here it is. It's not opened yet. We're waiting for um, Darion to join us. Family to. Yeah. Let me actually see where they're at. So, um, with that being said, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. I know Addis gave his apology to all things gymnastics that he was including me into it. That I was okay, we're gonna talk some shit. This is our 200 episode. I'm just like, bitch, why are you including me into this, bro? I ain't got nothing to do with this. Like, I apologized to the code to myself, and I made Addis do his own apology video. If he felt like I needed to apologize to all things gymnastics, he should have made me try to do my own apology video. But neither, but with that being said, I will say. Yes, they can do. Yes, they can. Always and forever, they can always read the comments. With that being said, I want to apologize to the entire gymnastics community because I, because I do realize the way this show started was a trauma bond experience. Right? It was. It was trauma bonding, right? We were trauma bonding, and yeah. The way it was me at its poor lawyer and Somebody else, but I don't remember who was on the damn show. They're not important. Uh, oh, Ben. It was me, Addis, Puller, and Ben, right? Yeah. And then from that, then the whole Olympus thing happened, and then the whole great blowing up of the gym from that of 2021 happened. No, it so, was 2020. It was 2020. It was 2020. It was 2021. It was after the Olympics. No, it was right before the Olympics, and that happened. No, it was right before World when it happened. No, it was the Olympics. It was after the Olympics. I remember, trust me, friend. I remember. Everybody still liked you at the Olympics. It was right after the Olympics, right before World. Was it really? Yes. Huh. Listen, at this point, I don't even remember, nor do I care. 
But what I'm saying is to the entire gymnastics community on our 200th episode, I would like to wholeheartedly apologize for the amount of if you say betrayal one more time, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Um, you say vitriol. Vitriol, the amount of drama, controversy, escándalo, yeah, whatever you words, all of the things that we contributed to the gymnastics community. Because even though we felt like we were just retaliating to what was being done to us, that y'all ate it up. They ate it up. And then and then it became what well, hold on. What I'm apologizing, it became like everybody was the enemy, right? Everybody was the enemy and everybody could get it. So then we became, especially when we first started, very, very, very nasty to other podcasts. We said some very cruel and mean things that we absolutely did not mean at that point in time. We were just, everybody could get it. Everybody was the ops. Everybody was the enemy. If you weren't basically Lord Raphael. Yeah. And, and see, our, our fan base don't make it no better, but <laughs> it's just as messy. Two specific things that I do want to apologize that I felt like we really, 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 really went overboard in our early days of the show. A whole two years ago now, but we really went overboard. There was one time we was talking about something, and then we said something else, and then a Down Syndrome joke was made, and I do want to apologize to everybody who was involved in it. That was absolutely cruel, senseless, and, and it just was very beneath us and, and should have not been said, should have not even been thought of. At least on air. So I do want to apologize to, for that. I'm joking about the on air part. Don't clip this out and be like, see, look, they don't mean it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm trying to put See, it like it's, it's very difficult for Raquel to apologize. So this is actually like me seeing like history happen right now. It is. And then the other one, and we said it before, I don't think it was fair for us to be calling Nicole a bitch and saying that she didn't deserve to get things that she got from um, what makes you think podcast. I think that was just absolutely cruel. We could have had opinions about Tom Forster and the way that she conducted the interview. Did I tell you what I told her? In my apology? Yeah. Yeah. Nicole, don't ever sell yourself short, girl. You are that girl. I feel like those are the main two things that we've done from, from the very conception of the show. That was just too far. And we've done other things. Yeah, we've, we've kind of gone far and kind of a couple things. Another thing we've done that I, I regret, I'm not going to apologize for it, I just regret that we did it, was the whole way we handled the damn Fisk College situation. I just hmm. really, really, because I, I, I really was, because when I'm at work at night, I have nothing but time and energy, so I just rewatched some of the shows. Right? And I, it was one episode of like, yeah, I, added, I really don't want to do this. Like, I did a whole no, I want to do it. I, I, I was, was just like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, I just, I just really don't want to do this. Then, like, a week later, we did it. And I should, really should have stuck with my guns of, I really don't want to do this. Like, I really, I mean, I get it that people feel like things aren't working out in their favor, but... I just really wish we would have handled that a whole different way. Because it sets a precedent that, like, what other HBCU is going to want to fuck with us because they don't feel like we're going to do the same thing that we did to fit. And but does it set a precedent? Uh, or, like, does it set a precedent of, like, how we handle things? Or does it set a precedent that we come for people that need to be come after? You may look at it at one thing, but other people are more heavily involved within the gymnastics community, and they can manipulate it into the way that I'm saying. Yeah, and that thing, people like that should be literally taken out with a sniper gun, because what needs to happen is that we need to look after the, the athlete's well-being and their safety. 
But see, this is the issue with that. And see, now I kind of understand why a lot of the journalists don't want to touch some of the things. It's because if the athletes don't want to actually speak out and say what happened to them. Which takes us to the Utah thing. Because a lot of people are like... Because that's the hard part. Because like, as bloggers, as people with a little bit of behind-the-scenes knowledge, we know some of the things that's going on. But it's great if we say it, but then it means nothing and we look messy and this, that, and the third. And then no other than the gymnasts themselves, other than one girl from FIS who left this program, aren't willing to really speak out about it. And then when they get whatever vindication they want to get, then they don't want to talk about it either because then they sign an NDA or whatever it is. So, like, it's very hard. It it's very hard. very hard to get people to talk about the abuse and the stuff that they are personally going through. This is why I did not want to do the thing with Fizz because I yeah. knew that nobody would say shit. We was going to be stuck out there again. Now, the only good thing that happened with Fizz is shit really hit the fan with them and then they had things that started happening that they could not explain and then we were proven not to be wrong. But I still wish that we would have handled it differently. We would have handled it differently. We would have, and I feel you, and I agree. I agree. But sometimes, you know, we got to call a bitch a bitch, especially when the, uh, the athlete's well being is, is in danger. Because I mean, like we saw at Utah, that's a bitch. Like Tom Farden, you nasty, throwing things, <laughs> throwing a bar scraper. Like, who does that? Who does that? And I'm sorry. Look, look. I know she's friends of the show, but maybe next time let's not talk about other athletes when they're, like, have bad experiences. If you had, you know, a good experience because you were one of the favorites. Maybe let's not victim shame. Because, I mean, these girls really showed their ass. Miss Bo uh, Beam National Champion. Miss All-Around National Champion. Miley O'Keefe. Miley O'Keefe. Girl, you should have just sat there and ate your salad. You should have just sat there. And like Kim Tessin, because we love, we love a blum bang. That was a, such an eloquent, eloquent explanation of what was going on. But like, you know, it's just a lot. Crystal Lisa, ate your salad. You should have just ate your salad, girl. Again, with what, I, I said this before. I think there's a bit difference between girls who love this sport and who actually have the talent and capability of doing this sport. And then girls who are just, you know, I can flip, so I'm doing gymnastics. I got a college scholarship because I can flip or whatever, right? Yeah. And I think for the girls who take this sport is I can flip. They don't take it as seriously as the girls who love the sport of gymnastics. Yeah. Right? I mean, so, yeah, we're not all Morgan Heard. Correct. So when the coaches like do five beer routines, the girl who just can flip is like, bitch, why? And because there's, a, I think we have to really embrace the mentality of smart training. You as a gymnast, no, my body can only handle three beam routines. I'm going to give you three beam routines, but they're going to be excellent. And once, I mean, you know, like, even like Simone says, she's, her, her and the Landys have gone to a place where like, if Simone just wants to do half an hour of bars, she's going to do half an hour of bars. She's going to give you amazing bars the entire time. And then she's off and she's done. She's done for the day. I like I like that mentality of coaching, which is why the Landy's won Coaches of the Year, uh, of uh, allowing the gymnast to be more hands-on with the training. I mean, look at Leanne Wong. That's one thing that the, the Florida coaches have praised her for. She takes her training to her own hands. She does what she can, what she wants to do. And now she's... Both of those girls are girls that I believe love the sport of gymnastics. True. Then you have a girl like Michaela Skinner who doesn't know anything about the sport that she did her whole life. Isn't that so, wild? It is. I. It's one of those things that just is baffling to me. Well, it's even good. Morgan Hurt, she didn't know that some of the connections she could do on floor would like, equal out to the same passes that she didn't have to do. It's just, it's, and Morgan Hurt knows the sport very yeah. well. It's just, it's baffling to me. 
Code construction is 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 a real mother. Like Sunni knows the code. Sunni knows what is what and what means what and what needs to be connected to what and what she needs to do to add. Once again, if you're just joining us right now, uh, this is what I, this is my crow. This is the the hot chip challenge. We are waiting for Darion to join us because she herself uh, requested I do it today while she was on the show. Uh, welcome to WLG 200. This is, our 200th, this is uh, part B, as my co-host puts it, of our 200th episode. Uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure... Uh, yeah. Make sure you truly, you know, follow us, turn on notifications, because we're getting into worlds. We're getting into, we're getting into worlds. Worlds is in literally, literally three weeks. But while we're here, Michaela, um, some Jim Turnett, um drama happened. I don't know if you're up to date on this. Lauren from the Ginter.net did not get her USO, her, her USAG uh, oh, yeah. FIG credential for media. Gymnastics Now actually got the credential. And um, Apparently, the uh, downfall to Lauren was the fact that her Instagram following is not as prominent as Gymnastics Now. Now, people are very upset. In fact, one of the commentators said, imagine if they, uh, USAG gave it to addicts. And of course, Lauren was like, oh my god, yes, I support this. Like, fuck you. Anyway, um... We'll talk about that here in a second, Misha, because we have a lot to talk about that we haven't talked about. So, uh, how, how, what do you feel about the, I guess, um, OTC, the, the Olympic uh, Committee, whatever, prioritizing Instagram followers over content? Honestly? Honestly. I don't disagree with the decision. I think gymnastics now is the more. But they really came out of nowhere this year. Because gymnastics now started this year. Like, okay. Feel what I'm saying now. Feel what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Gymnastics now feel like a gymnastics magazine. A gymnastics news media Source. Okay. Lauren and the gymtonet.com feels like somebody who's just making Twitter posts. Though, now, I do want to draw the attention to the fact that uh, gymnastics Her now is important, but it just feels like two different levels of media. Well, and also the uh, gymnastics now basically just copy and paste such people's articles and puts it on gymnastics now, though. And they charge for the readers. It is, uh, it is. But I just, I'm just telling you how I personally feel. I'm not saying yeah. that I don't think the gymtonet.com is an amazing source of information. Yeah. But also, Lauren has done some very not great things on social media. Like people calling people ass hats, you know, uh, kind of not being the most professional of, of outlets. You know what I mean? And so, in the end, you know, the the, the Olympic Committee does what they want to do, and and they and, and you know, kudos to gymnastics now for coming out of nowhere this year and getting the credential. Now, what I don't like. I don't like this at all. So the Olympic Committee didn't give you your media for additionals. What the fuck do you want us to do about it? Like, I don't like this. Again, it's, it's this very whole... I'm a bit dumb. No, you just didn't get picked this go around. Wait your turn next year or improve your content or whatever the case may be. Um, improve your Instagram following. But people are like, oh, well, you can buy Instagram followers. It's like, well, it doesn't matter. Because, like, no, because I don't want to shit on gymnastics now because it just really reminds me of when we got our damn media credentials to go yeah. to the NCAA Nationals. Y'all bitches were salty 
when y'all contacted them, people was like, oh, I don't think they should have the media producers. Y'all need to watch everything they're, they're doing. Then they started paying attention to what the hell we were doing and we brought our media credentials. So, no, I... It's like this, like, fake rallying the troops to do your dirty work for you. Yeah, I don't like that. I just don't like that. Like, Me either. Instead of being like, okay, I wasn't good enough to make it this year and standing on that. And if trying to Taylor keep- Swift herself can be like, you know what? Reputation wasn't great. I'll make a better album. If Taylor Swift herself can be like, I'll just make a better album. Then make, make a better post. Send pussy up, right? Okay, so s- s- speaking of stepping pussies up, to, uh, Worlds in 2025 will only be six athletes from a delegation. Three men, three women. How do you feel about that? It's the Worlds right after the Olympics. I mean, not a lot of people even try for it, so I don't know. I don't hate the format. I I, I, I said 2025 is going to be the worst, and that yeah, it's going to be the worst. But I don't hate the format because again, like we said, not many people go to this worlds. I mean, Bridget Sloan, world champion. Look at the random people we've gotten the world champions at the worlds after the Olympics. We got uh, Bridget, Bridget Sloan, world champion. We got uh, Chelsea Miller, world champion. Angelina Monikova. We got an Angelina Mami Cover World Champion. We got a Morgan Heard World Champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Morgan Heard, random champ. Yeah. Yeah, we could we could have had Ellie Black World Champion. The thing is, plus, especially for the Americans who are on the women's side, even though they've seen the team before, they really ever only use three people. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> if Darren doesn't get on soon, I'm just going to be like, listen, 40 minutes show. Let's just cut it. I'm tired. Me too. Um, do, you think they, do you think for a three-person team, it should just be three specialists, one all-arounder, two specialists, two I mean, all You're going gonna to send one all-arounder because you want, you want the all-around gold medal to stay in the family. Because besides Rebecca and besides Angelina, it's been Americans. And it's going to be American this year, too. It's going to be Simone Biles. So I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily feel like you can't send an all-arounder. So I'm going to send an all-arounder, and I'm going to send two event specialists. But like two events, like, like, a, like a SUNY, that if she's at full health, I would send SUNY, not for all-around, but for bars and beans. I would send uh, Leanne Wong because she can give you a good all-around score. But she can still give you two vaults. She can still give you like a serviceable like event specialist kind of role. So, uh, in my theory, the people that they're gonna send to this World Championships is gonna be Tiana as my all-arounder, Jocelyn as my specialist slash second all-arounder, Zoe Miller as my specialist to do bars and me. Yeah, that's who I would send. Honestly. Honestly, because everybody else is going to be too tired. Yeah, that's what I would send. Let's see. Where, where is... Let me see. Let me tell her. Be like, are y'all coming? Oh, I'm off until Saturday, so I mean, if they're not coming today, we can save it for tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow, yeah, because I'm tired. I am, look... You guys, working overnight, even though I used to do it sometimes, like, this is the crazy part. I guess it's because I'm new at this job and I'm learning it. I really never used to have to work overnight. I would only have to do it if, like, I had to fill in for somebody. But working at overnight at this job is really a lot because nothing happens here. Like, at Motel 6, even if I'm not checking guests in, something will happen. So I would have to go. Off. Something would pop off, or some drama would happen that I could, you know, be in the middle of, you know. Here, nothing happens. So I'm just there, and there's no TV, so I'm just there. Oh, no, no, the the Tiki showed up. God damn it, I'm gonna have to do this damn thing. There's Tiki. 
Kiki. Hey, y'all. <laughs> damn, I'm going to have to do this damn hot chip challenge, aren't I? But wait, so so Darion's not here. She went for a walk. We'll, we'll wait for Darion. <laughs> she may not be back for like another 30 minutes. That's fine. We can just talk. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm trying to put this off, Tiki. I'm trying to put... I don't want to die, mama. Are you really going to do this? For Darion, I would I would walk through hell for Darion. Let me tell you. Whatever the queen wants, the queen gets. Okay. Michaela, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, my love? I am doing great. Doing great. 200 episodes, Tiki. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so proud of y'all. Tiki, do you want to play a game while we're waiting on Darion to get back? What kind of game? We have several games that we, we incorporated into the show. Are y'all going to ask me some questions? Okay, so we do have several games. Um, there's one game that we could play that I feel like you would be really good at. It's called I'm Going to the Olympics. Okay. okay? So now, wait. I'm, why is Michaela's face? <laughs> I never heard of this. So I'm, I'm okay. like, no. We played. We played this one, Michaela. Remember, I'm going to the Olympics and then bringing. She 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 does this all the time. He like we played this game twice. And I bet you this is the game that I've been trying to remember. What what um? Okay. You know, I've been trying to remember. It was one game. We did one episode where we just did all games, and it was yeah. one game. I was like, we're gonna incorporate this into the show. And I can never remember what it was. Okay, so it's called I'm Going to the Olympics. Okay, and uh, okay. it's like I'm going on a boat. Have you played that game? Okay, no. No? Okay, it's a very Caucasian game. Um, <laughs> a very white game. Uh, I, will, I, will, <laughs> I will say I'm going to the Olympics, and I think you're Christina, by the way. Uh, I'm going to the Olympics, and I'm bringing Ellie Sites. And from that guess... You have to then, like, uh, from that, from me saying that, you have to deduct what the rule of the game is. Because there's a, there's an unspoken rule. So if I say Ellie Sites, that means I might be going for German gymnasts. I might be going with, for gymnasts whose names start with an E. Just, it's all sorts of rules. So you have to then, your your guess then has to be, like, um, say, for example, if the rule is uh, German gymnasts, then you say, I, I'm going to the Olympics and I'm bringing Pauline Schaefer bets. And that's how you guess. Yes, Michaela, we played this game before. I don't like this one, Addis. Let's do the one that we started this morning. Oh, password? Yes. Oh, the hundred thousand dollars to get you there. No, Tiki's frozen. Oh no, Tiki's frozen. Zoe won't be accomplished by because if she defers next year. Worlds will happen before she goes to college, so she would have a chance to go to Worlds before her college starts. Oh yeah, so uh, Tiki. Okay, so uh, we're gonna play a hundred. Who defers? I didn't hear. I didn't hear you guys because my I always disconnect. Oh Zoe. What? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. Uh, so Zoe, uh, they're saying okay. if can Zoe go to Worlds next? Uh, not next what? year. Year. At it, what? Focus. Focus. Explain to her the game. Oh, so hundred thousand pyramid. So it's password. Huh. Have you ever played password? Me? No. Yes. I, I don't. I know. I've been too busy to play. Rem, remember, I was I was an adult at four years old raising my siblings, so I didn't get to do kid things. I did not. I was not allowed to do kid friendly things. Okay, so password is basically I give you one word, okay, and then you have to guess the word from the word I give you. So if I say, uh, if, have you ever seen the show A Hundred Thousand Dollar Pyramid? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. So let's uh, play first to give her an example. Yes. So the, I sent you a clip of, the, of, of us playing it this morning. So if I said, if I were to give uh, Michaela the, the hint, queen. Mm -hmm. Are you Michaela, asking me? No, no, no. The Michaela would uh, answer. What is the answer, Michaela? 
But we did this already. It's Darion. Yeah, so that's and that's the password. Okay. Okay, so now, Michaela. Okay, I was, no, stop. To see you don't explain things well. How do I not explain things well? So excited. The game is is basically one of us or you or whatever is gonna think of a word, right? And then you're gonna give somebody a clue, but it can't it's just a word word clue. So like let's say if if like before the, the guess was Takachev, right? So the so my clue was that I gave to Addis was Ray. He still didn't get it. So he was like another clue. You get three guesses. And then I said um Downey. Downey or something else. And he still didn't get it. So so let's start over again. So add it. Yes. So the this clue is Bean. Simone. No. Um skill. Rufova. Close, no. Um Oh, oh, okay, okay. I think I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Popular connection. It's only one word, Michaela. Oh, connection. Swing down. No, it was a punch front. How the fuck? I, I, tell you, I would, I would, I would have never guessed that. I'd have been here all day. First off. <laughs> No 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 no, 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 no. First off, you, it cannot be punch front. It cannot be one word. Punch front is two words. But that's the skill name. What do you want me to do about that? Why, 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 why was there balloons? Why was there balloons? Hide the balloons. Not yet. Um, <laughs> the, do you like her plane, by the way? Do you like her plane, Tiki? Her plane? Yeah, I was going to say who did that, but of course it was you. Not the balloons again. Hold on. The balloons again? Balloons! <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, I got you. 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 Uh, French. Melanie. How? How is it that every time I've given every time I've given the given her a, 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 a guess? Gets it. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I I knew Michaela. Michaela knows all things gymnastics. Me and Darion were sitting here one day. You guys were playing a game, and Darion was like, "Damn, <laughs> where's yeah. Derek?" Um, he's he's in the room. Let what is he doing? Maybe streaming. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just glad that it is September because there was a concert in my house. Every <laughs> night for MJ month in August. And you just, it, well, he has been, he's been streaming a lot. Yeah, every night at X, there was a concert. Listen, I, I'm I'm worried about your deck. My what? My deck. Because that boy is bouncing around on that deck. He's he's hitting every count. Yeah, jumping and yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm glad sometimes he gives the deck. A break and goes out in the grass. <laughs> it doesn't have the same bounce. Yeah. Well, it doesn't need to. Let me let me see. It doesn't need to. Yeah, he's somewhere. He's somewhere. Okay, let's do an easy game. I know you're flipping lying. That's an easy. Oh game. my god. It's my favorite. You Would embarrass you like me. Would you like to come be on the podcast with Addicts and Michaela there for saying hi to you? Would you like to come and say hi on the podcast? Okay. What is he doing? On the phone. He's coming. Okay. Yeah. I think he was going back and forth with some people that want him to choreograph some stuff. Oh, okay. So so let's talk gymnastics real quick. We'll, we'll go back to the, to the game. Like, I just don't want you to embarrass me. Uh, how do you feel about the... Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm about to do this for Darion. What is it? I can't even That's see the one chip challenge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, good luck. I love your shirt. Thank you. You always have the Who best fashion. On the other side? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. 
I, it is going to be real. Um, I'm so nervous. So, okay, can we talk to Utah real quick? Yes. Tiki, how do you feel about the Utah situation? Well, we knew something happened. We 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 knew that many people didn't just walk away. Cammy scholarships and everything for no reason. I mean, Cammy was the first one, right? Yeah. And I mean, she just that was and tough. You know man. what? I I I like the. And I'm sure they probably tried to handle it internally because so many people walked away quietly yeah. and nobody said anything until recently when the parents wanted to come out um, anonymously. Yeah. And the gymnasts wanted to come out anonymously. So I don't know. Like, I'm, I think my one question was, like, did they talk to him first? Like, I, I think I'm just trying to figure out, like, how how that happened and how it affected so many gymnasts in one time span. Like, did nobody talk about it? I don't know. Cause with you, all and that, did you see the, the, the girls talking on Twitter? No, you know, uh, you know, I haven't. I've yeah, you haven't. Well, let, let, let us tell yeah. you what happened. Yeah, it, it, it was yeah. bad news bears. Was, was it the gymnasts from there? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been on Twitter. Because they were defending the Tom, the current gymnast, especially like Molly, like they were really defending Tom in this situation. And, and, and Crystal Issa really came out batting hard for Tom. The Marsdens really came out hard for Tom. And it's one of those like they were like victim blaming. They were saying like, well, these girls should just train harder. And if they can't like, you know, step it up, then they, they it's probably not the culture that they need to be in. Basically... Basically, uh, one of their statements, Miley O'Keefe made a statement basically like, of course, the girls who don't make lineups always have something to complain about or something like that. But you know what? Now, <clears throat> in her defense. <laughs> National <laughs> champion Miley O'Keefe. Listen, in her defense, I, I can say this because, you know, I've been in, I've been in that culture. Mm -hmm. And I will say... And I'm not saying that this was their truth, but it always was the ones that did not make the lineups or their parents that had a lot to say. I, I, I can attest to that. Um, or, the, or the ones that only did a few events always had a lot to say about the ones that did multiple events and stuff like that. So, and I don't know if it's just a matter of training harder. This is what I always explain to the girls that I talk to or the parents. Yeah. Most times when you're recruited for a college team, you're probably the best at your gym. But when you get to college, you're now on a team with the best of the best. Yeah. And now what what most of them didn't realize until they got to college is now you have to compete with your teammates every single week or a couple times a week for a spot in the lineup. Like, I think a lot of them don't realize that until they get to college. Like, we didn't know until Darion got to college that, they're, you know, that we're now you have to compete every week for a spot in the lineup. Because, you know, when you're in J.O., you pay your money and you compete. But yeah, then, it, but that's the thing about college. Like, put up your best six, regardless. Darion always was just like, if I don't compete or if I don't get a spot in the lineup, listen, my 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 school is being paid for, and I'm just gonna go out there and do the best that I can. And for my team, we're going to put up the best six girls. And, that, and one thing Darion said know. once that you, you you told us is like she said like I'm not good on beam. She so hated I'm, beam. So I'm not gonna go on beam. You have yes. Yeah. And, and a lot of people girls. ask me why she came out of the all around, and it was because she does not like beam. And um, so when she came out of the beam lineup, maybe her senior year completely, she she stepped in a few times her junior year because she did it her freshman and sophomore year. So um, when she did her 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 junior her senior year, when she was going to go back into the beam lineup, is when she and um, I, I can't remember 
what the coach's name that went to Alabama. They got into it, and Darian was just like, I'm not training. Oh, Ashley Priest. Yeah. She's just like, I'm not training any events that Ashley coaches. But then she was going to go back into the beam lineup that year. But then she was just like, Jeff, I, I like being a cheerleader on beam. I like having a peace of mind. She was like, I'm my best when I'm doing the events that I love to do. And he was like, but what about all around? She was like, I don't give a damn about none of that. If we're, if we're going to have a, ch- a shot at um, going to nationals, you need to put your best six girls up. She was like, there's 18 other girls here that love to train beam. Get them a chance. And if you ever watched her at beam, she was having a blast, dancing, cheering her. T- like that is, that was her, her role. And, and that she always is, just felt like everybody had a role to play, whether if it was moving the mat, if it was being a team cheerleader, she would just say, everybody just play your part. And that's the only way we're going to be a team and do what we need to do. So, And that speaks a lot about her own like tenacity as a leader. Yeah. If she's able to be like, I'm not the best on this. I'm going to take a step back and put other yeah. girls on there. Then, yeah. I mean, that, that speaks about like someone's like, like, Ability to see beyond themselves and see the bigger picture. Yeah. Because she was never I, selfish. She she wanted yeah. what was best for her team. And and a, a lot of the girls in NCAA don't think like that. No. Like, I, I, I can tell you, the I, I, girls, the, some of the athletes, some of the parents are selfish. They want to see their gymnast or their athlete compete, whether they're the best or not, or whether it's what's best for the team. And that's the issue. How do you, Tiki, as a parent, tell the difference between, like, tough coaching versus abuse and yelling? Like, what's the fine line in your mind uh, when, when a coach crosses the line from being just, like, a very tough coach that gets results versus, like, because he's been – Accused of like throwing like shit at people and yeah, like, the bar yeah, scrapers. That's crossing the line because when you're being degrading or when there's name calling, when you're doing stuff that you know you you wouldn't want nobody doing to your child, like why are you throwing stuff? Because first of all, these are grown ass women on the team. <laughs> these are adult women, so you can have a conversation with them. And for me, as a coach, if you can't have an effective conversation with your athlete and you can't correct them or you can't get them to understand what you need from them, that's the issue on your part yeah. to me. Because, I, I mean, I don't understand it, but so what's he throwing stuff at the people? A bar scraper. And they just let him. Well, here's what, what was said. They said that um, the girl said that, oh, well, we were just, you know, in practice and we didn't know what to say, so we just didn't say anything about it. And nobody called their parents. Nobody picked up the damn bar scraper and threw it back at him because I'm just saying. <laughs> this, Listen, I, that, that bald head would child. not be, that bald Listen. head would have a gash. Let me tell you something. If that if Darian was at that school and he threw something at her, as calm, cool, and collected as she is, trust me. But she grabbed the scraper and tore it back. What? <laughs> Why she on the phone with me and I'm booking a plane ticket to Utah? And now I need a whole new gym. Cause why did you throw something at my child? I'm on the phone. Okay. Is that Darion? No, that's the air because she's back home. <gasps> Tell her I love her. My controversial queen. <laughs> Come here. My controversial queen. <laughs> Attic said he loves you, his controversial queen. Hey. Hi. Hi. I can't even see you. I got my contact in. But are you, you got to be all up. Oh, you got to call. Yeah, we're, we're on the whole podcast. Why can't say that? <laughs> I'm off of this. My brain is up. She looks fantastic. <laughs> controversial yes. queen. Yeah, she came, she came home today. So you have almost all the kids there. Pray for me. Oh, it's, and it's your it's your oldest birthday, right? Yesterday, yes. yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yeah. Or two days? No, it was Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. How was that? Um, it was it was okay. I think he 
Well, so he's dealing with the fact that, you know, they lost their dad in November. So his brother was in a car accident a week ago. He hit a tree in Atlanta and died. So, and he and his brother were really close. They, you know, they had the same dad. So I felt bad because like me and his mom were really close. Like Marquise and Trey were only five months apart. So he was like my baby. When they introduced him to me, when he was like 18 months, like he was always with me. So like me and his mom co-parented, like that was my baby. And so she's been out of the country. Um, She's been over in the islands and she kept telling me that God kept showing her that something was going to happen to him. And then she she was trying to come back home Friday and she missed her flight and she had to stay until today. But while she was, when she got back to her boyfriend's house, um, her brother called because he, the accident happened last Saturday. They weren't even able to reach any next of kin until a week later. It was like oh Friday. Oh my God. Yeah. How do, what do you feel about that Tiki? Cause you're a very, you're a devout woman. You're, mm-hmm. you're like, both of you are. How, mm-hmm. what do you, how what do you make of that like premonitions like that addicts let me tell you something <clears throat> the crazy thing is when i was telling my boyfriend about it he reminded your, your me your boyfriend oh yeah your boy <laughs> hold on your boyfriend yes you got a man i do since june addicts you didn't tell us this i didn't Okay, you have well, very hush talk. hush about this, Tiki. Yeah, he's from Africa. He's amazing. Uh, yeah, non-Nigerian prince, right? He's a Nigerian prince. Tiki, is he a real one? Yes. Oh, fantastic! That's all, that's all we one. need. Okay, good. Because because I sent <laughs> Nigeria five hundred dollars once, and they didn't give me nothing. You know what? I'm not gonna pay with you. <laughs> But this is a crazy thing. <clears throat> so Saturday morning, yeah, I kept having this reoccurring dream. And you know how you have a bad dream and you wake up because you want the dream to go away? Yeah. But every time I went to sleep, I kept having that same dream. And I forgot about it until I was telling him what happened to Marquise's brother. He said, baby, do you remember <clears throat> Saturday You called me and said you kept having the dream. The dream that I kept having was I lost a child. Mm. And so Trey was like my child. And and I I didn't even put two and two together until he reminded me. How does how does that happen? Is it just the unit because because I I want to know because like I've had things like that where I'm just like I don't I don't like this feeling, but something comes to happen and it's like, damn. The, the universe is really trying to tell me something. Oh, she froze. But Michaela, how, what do you? Well, how do you feel about that, Michaela? Um, I think everybody have their own different spiritual connections to the other side. You know, do you get those? Um, not like that, but in other ways. See, like, because. I've been getting that like about this. Like I feel like my my spirit keeps on like something's about to happen. Y'all two need to get like get it together. Like you know get your 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 ducks in a row. But not like bad. But I'm just like like something's about to happen, and I've been I've been having that feeling for a while. And I thought like that's why I'm asking like because I've heard about premonitions. There she is. I've heard about premonitions and I've heard about things like that. And so it just, it drives, it's, it, it's insane to me. Like I was, like I was telling you earlier, because I've been having the kind of anticipatory kind of like prem, pre, uh, prem, premonitionary or whatever, uh, like, you know, about this, about we love gymnastics. Like I keep having these like weird, like flashes and like reoccurring things. So that's why I'm asking him like, you know, is, I guess my question is like, are premonitions just about like bad things or can they be about good things too? No, it could be about good things because, you know, like in the Bible where, you know, God says that he will give you dreams and visions. So they're not always bad things. Okay. A lot of, a lot of times they're good things. Like Darion has, <clears throat> a lot of times she will see things that are going to happen in her future or things that she wants to happen in her future. Um, Is that a part of manifesting? Does it go hand in hand? 
She, yeah, Darion is my child that manifests her entire life. Like Darion has a vision board that she will make and then she takes a picture of it and she puts it, um, it's on her phone. And like, I don't know if you've ever read this book. There's the a gift. whole series, it's called The, the Secret. Gift? The Secret, yeah, The Secret. So she has read all of those. And once she unlocks the secret, yeah, she she reads every one of them. Like she she goes outside every morning and she manifests. Cause I walked out there one day, I didn't know what she was doing. And, and she looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, you good? She was like, I'm out here talking to God. I was like, oh my bad. She was like, I tell God what I want. And and yeah, she 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 does her entire life. So that yeah. She's a very magical being. She she really is. She's Oh, someone called her. Someone did. Uh -huh. Someone called her, yeah. So, Addis. Yes, ma'am. How do you feel about doing the hot chip challenge tomorrow? I I, I find it fantastic, actually. I, I would love to. Are you tired? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> like... Okay, well, let, let's uh, let, let's see you come back and then we'll talk. We'll talk. Oh my God, you guys, this job is kicking my ass. I thank God I have this job, but it's just like I remember why we stopped doing two-hour shows when I I was working. Is Jerry on back? No, that was um <clears throat> that was the man. I was like, yo, you always call me when I'm on this podcast, and it kicks me off. No, it's fine. So Michaela is tired because of her job. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna ask, can we do the? Ch uh, uh, will Darren be around tomorrow? Yeah, she'll be here tomorrow. So can we do it tomorrow then? Absolutely. If you just give us the time so we can make sure, because she does not want to miss this. Like she thinks <laughs> this is the, the funny. She thinks that this is the funniest thing. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Hey, but before we go, I want to ask, how do you feel about the Pat Twelve? Um, oh yeah, debacle and losing everything over there. What is going on that everybody? Okay, Steven. so you thank know you for I don't know anything right now. So the uh, Pac-12 disbanded uh, uh, essentially because of the TV deal. The TV deal they had was uh, was terrible, and a lot of schools are actually losing money, so they're making money from this TV deal. So they all left. Uh, uh, UCLA went to uh, ACC, Big Ten. Oh, Big Ten. Uh, uh, UCLA and USC both went to the Big Ten, right? And then. Uh, a bunch of other schools. Like Utah uh, is now in, in the Big Twelve, which is uh, which is so, us. So, um, <clears throat> so my thing is like, what what type of um, TV deal did they have? So they created their own network, Pac Twelve, which is which is apart from ESPN, apart from uh, you know how the, you know how SEC and Big Twelve all they all have ESPN as their partner, right? Right. Well, Big Twelve did not. Big Twelve was just on its own, and therefore they weren't able to uh, show the big meets on like ESPN when it was UCLA, unless it was UCLA OU. Mm -hmm. And so now all those all those schools left there because they wanted a, a, a better deal. And so right. all these other like micro uh, conferences, well not micro, smaller conferences like Big Twelve, ACC, and all of them now have bigger uh, deals with ESPN because they are. I mean, it's like they're they're gatekeeping the sport essentially through ESPN, and because ESPN is uh, owned by House of Mouse, Disney, mm -hmm. which means ABC now gets all the rights to all of those meets. But you know what? You want to know the gag? OSU just built a brand new stadium. I'm talking they they lit that girl up, right? right. You know about this, right? So now they're on the hook for the next 35 years to deliver uh, about like 45 million dollars. They have to pay back like 37 of that or something like that, 15 of that, back to uh, in bonds. From the school, well, they were expecting all this to come from revenue from you know the, uh, sporting events at this stadium, and now that the Pac-12 is busted, where do you go, girl? You gotta pay yes. back this money. So what are they gonna do? Because I know I don't know about any of the other school, schools, but I do know for a fact because I've seen um, when they put it up, like with the SEC, whatever the revenue is that they make and it's a lot that they make SEC oh, a Network, billion, billion dollars but do you know what they do with the money they split it amongst the, the schools. sports yeah no they split it amongst the schools and they send the money to the schools and of oh, course yeah, yeah, yeah. The schools will figure out um how and much everybody gets 
it's a trickle down economy too. If you know this, you, you know this, right? It's a trickle down economy. So yeah. the big sports get all the big revenue, and then if if gymnastics like LSU, it's, it's not even like that because my brother was a football player and he went to OU or whatever before he went to the NFL. So even with that, like OU football was a really big thing, and maybe the coaches and stuff. And the facilities, but like the athletes themselves got nothing. Got so. nothing. And right, now, right. And up now until, it's NIL. Up until NIL. Yeah. But yeah, then even with NIL, way, way before NIL, NIL, they don't get a lot. Well, the football <laughs> players do. They have all these collectives. And so, and the way, the way even that works, because, okay, so like the collective at Auburn, the football players got most of the money. The basketball players got a lot of money. Gymnastics, I think the first year they picked five or six girls because the entire team did not get money. Oh. Hold on, Ziggy. Hold on, Ziggy. Was that the world that's telling you to, to mute? Speak on it, though. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, so, like, even, like, the first – year, Darion senior year, there was maybe four or five girls that got money from 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 the collective. But they had a contract and there were so many things. They had these things that they had to fulfill every single month. So it was just like they had to do a certain number of appearances. They had to sign um, autographs, but it wasn't all of them. There was a few of them. But even within, it wasn't a lot because they gave them something like $2,000 a month, which is, serious? I mean, it's $2,000 more, but like, that's crazy when the football player, the average that the football players were getting was 7000 God, they paid those, and they're paying those kids money. Did you hear what happened to Michael Orr? Wait, 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 wait. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, I heard somebody was, they were talking about, like, the track and field athletes, and it made me think about gymnastics. They were like, the track and field athletes, they don't feel like the NIL is, NIL is really helping them. Actually, it's hurting them because now it's like they have three jobs Like when they're in school now. Back before, even though they weren't making money, they had two jobs. They were a student and they had to you know, run track. But now it's like they have three jobs because now you're a student, you have to run track, and now you have to build up your social media, your branding of, Tiki wasn't here for this whole thing. I <laughs> know she's there. She's there. She's there. Oh, that's no video feed. Oh no. Hold on. It says nobody, and I can't even like add her. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eh, nope. Nope. She was almost there. Almost had it. Almost doesn't count. Almost is never enough. It won't let her reconnect. Hold on. Oh, need a new link. Refresh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Q. Okay, cool. Cool. And then here you go. Refresh the link. Okay. Well, while we're on this uh, stream, I do want to thank Taco Bell uh, for their um, drops. Oh, there's Tiki. Kill him, Akila. What was the last part you heard? Tiki, baby, what was the last part you heard? Um, oh, I was telling you about how um, what the what the uh, football players were getting, and then it okay. then I think y'all were explaining something, and then it cut off. Okay, what I was saying is I I was watching this thing where somebody who was talking about the track and field world was talking about how he feel like the NIL deal has really hurt the college track and field players because. Now they have three jobs. Before they had two jobs. They were a student and they were an athlete or whatever. Now they have three jobs because now you have to be a student, you have to be an athlete, and now you have to 
make money. And you have to build a social media following. And you have to be pristine and all this other stuff. And he was like, in a, in a lot of ways, yeah, it's great that they can make money, but still, you're not making money from doing your sport. It's like you have to find a second year. Your, the way you're making money is being a social media presence. And then you're allowed to make money from that, but you're not still making money from doing your actual sport. And he was like, I want to be paid for running track. Like, I run track. I don't feel like I should have to get on Facebook every day and be fake high and and be funny with all these damn brand deals and stuff. Like, I just want to run track. Like, I would love to be fake high. Not fake high, but you know what I'm saying. Like, fake, you know... Businessy, you know. Oh, you mean like highfalutin, like kind of like you know, be yeah. out about, be a social media yeah. influencer. Who is you? There we go. I'm sorry. Darion cool. Go Burn. Darion, our Lord and Savior Darion Go Burn. She just pulled up addicts. So you might Michaela. have to eat that chip. Michaela, I will eat this chip right now, Michaela. We, it, it got good. Go get you some coffee or something, Michaela. We're going to do this. But, yeah, but, but Michaela, you're about right, this. though. Michaela, you're right. Because, like, there was time where you have to make sure that that um, that um you have time. You have to find a balance. There, Jan, Addicts has been waiting on you to eat this, to eat this chip. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you. Hi. <laughs> Look, you got it. I got it. I got I got I got it, Darion. See, it's right here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. See, it's right here. I got it. She's beautiful. Should I just pop it in? You should. <laughs> I think you should. Okay, okay, here. Hold on. I'm gonna cry. Attic, do you oh, have something in water? Right. Do you Girl, have water? I got water. Do you have ice cream? Do you have milk? Something? I got water. I got I got a Taco Bell taco. <laughs> but yeah, I got I got Taco water. Bell ta- Do you remember the video I sent you the other day where that girl snuck it in the Taco Bell taco? Listen, that's probably for the best. No, because he opened the, They were driving like he was hanging out the window with his mouth I'm, open. I'm in my house. I'm not actually in front of a jet, Tiki. That's not actually a jet. This is okay. my room. I'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be on the tarmac. It's okay. Okay. Oh my God. Did you Wait, did, did, look. Did you hear her attic? She's like, turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I last year was bad. Look at Michaela's face. Jesus. <laughs> while you're done, no, 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 no. I need you to apologize to Sunisa Lee while you're all eating. All right, all right, 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 right. The reason I'm fucking doing this to begin with, Darion, is because I said Sunisa Lee would not compete at Classic. And I said I would eat crow if she did. Guess what? Sunisa Lee competed at Classic. And I can't eat crow in Texas to protect the species. So here we are. Exactly. Oh, Sunisa Lee, where you at? Oh, God. Oh. Here we go. Get the whole thing. Oh, and the crow. Oh. The whole thing. Oh. 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 Suffer. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> it's not that bad in my mouth. I'm scared to swallow. Give it three minutes, though. Oh. I remember oh. the last time we did this. There, it's in my mouth. I mean, I swallowed. Baby, no ma'am. It'll kick in. <laughs> she waiting for the kick in. Yeah, yeah, I think it takes like a couple minutes. <laughs> Michaela, you are too excited. For it's this. kicking in. Oh. <laughs> it's not that bad. Is it worse than the one we did last year? The one you did last year? Uh, last year's were pretty bad. Oh, my God. So, Nisa, where you at? Uh, I wish you could tell us where you start putting this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm, I, it's hurting. Oh, my God. So, it's one of, it's one of those, it kicks in, uh, it has a it has an after effect. It's, it's not, like, immediate. Oh. <sighs> It's just in my mouth. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh my god. 
Come on, Addis. You're you're Mexican. You, you guys eat spicy food a lot. I know I do. It is hot. Uh, but Larry did an interview. Duke and said that Gabby should start going to training camps after World. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Eat some ice cream. I don't have ice cream. Uh. Uh. Your sinuses sounds very clear. I love that. You're not sweating that bad. Oh, oh, why are we just watching at it suffer? Because that's the one chip challenge, dude. I don't know what you're saying. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty, uh... at it, I think you're carrying on because you're surviving, you're not sweating that hard. You're not, you're, you're, you're okay. You're yeah. okay. It's just hot and it started to hurt my stomach. Oh, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> We're good. We're good. The MVP at it. Garza. Yeah, my stomach's starting to hurt, bitch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's good. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Oh, I'm starting to get the stomach thing. Oh, okay. This is what I get. Oh, now you're sweating. I'm not sweating, bitch. I'm just crying. No, I can see the sweat glistening off your forehead now. Can you? Exactly, You're right, Johnny. Ah, right, oh. 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 I the one. I think the one chip challenge things are healthy for you. I mean, other than the spiciness, but like it's supposed to clear out your sinuses and give you a really good BM. A what? A really good bowel movement. Probably, bitch. Fuck. Oh, see, no, Doof. No, sis. See, I don't make bet. I don't. Now, I almost would make a bet that they're not going to make the podium. Now, I do think there's a possibility that they make it to the Olympics as a team. Making that on the podium here, though, no. <laughs> oh. 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 I think I did it. You did it. <laughs> oh. Yay. Gross. I did it. Is it is it done burning? No, my 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 Mouth is opening. My stomach is just like, girl. Tell me why. But yeah, I did it. All for you, Darion. Just for you. Thank you. No, this is this is my thank you for always being there for us, for always doing interviews, and just for doing the damn thing, and for you know for what for what happened to you just recently. So congrats. You know I love you. The bit is is hot. There's yeah. just no Does way. It looks like your eyes are burning. No, my eyes aren't burning. My soul is burning, Tiki. My soul is burning. Like, and I, and I know, and I know, because this this thing. Oh, I have chips. Hold on, I have chips. Oh. <laughs> Michaela. Oh, that's so much better. 
Right. How could you eat chips after eating that hot thing? Right. I I'm Mexican. Michaela, I would not want to see another chip ever I'm in Mexican. my life. I'm Mexican. What are you talking about? Chips are my life. Where's my cheese, though? I do need some cheese. Okay, but back to the original. Without the Pac-12, how do y'all think that's going to affect the gymnastics? Because the Pac-12 was really like one of the, the second biggest conference behind the SEC. Darion? I don't know. Oh, Daria, this doesn't affect you anymore. You don't care anymore. <laughs> so the Pac-12 broke up, right? Yeah, so there's no more Pac-12. So what are they? Where are they going? Uh, well, Utah is now in the Big 12. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, USC and UCLA went to Big 10. Um, I think some of those... Cal. Cal and them went to ACC. ACC. Yeah. 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 And OU is going to SEC. Oh, well, we all knew that. Yeah. And um, UCLA is going to Big Ten with Michigan. Darion, you think you could have taken on those OU girls at SECs? Uh, yeah, because I feel like the scoring would probably be different. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> I feel like it would. Like, I just feel like. Do you think okay, I, I feel like in college gymnastics they should structure it different than they do like football because they should really just do two conferences. It should be East Coast and West Coast, right? That's it. For what? Why do we need 101 conferences for damn college gymnastics? Why just did, need why did Krella need 101 Dalmatians, Michaela? <laughs> really dumb. But why really did, dumb. Well, tell that to Krella. No. Are, you li- are you looking at yourself? No. <laughs> I was looking at the comments. Oh, the comments? Yeah, because they're little on, on this. So, screen. so do you think LS is going to take it this next year? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, they they have a really good roster, so I don't know. I'm really excited to watch them, and I hope they can. I hope they can take it. So, when is your debut single coming out? My debut for what WWE? No, no, for singing. Maybe? I don't think. Did you tell them that? She, she, she did, did you hear her singing a minute ago? I know she sings. Okay. Darian does everything, addicts. I know she does. She's like me. We're kindred spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody want to know how to, how's the WWE going, Darian? Tell them about your tell them about your experience with the tryout. Oh, uh, so I'm not there yet, but tryouts was really, really hard. Um, okay. The acting was really fun. I was really good at that. The tumbling and flipping obviously was a piece of cake because it was just forward rolls and cartwheels, but like hitting the ropes and we were doing, it was like army training. And I was like, is this what I want to do with my life? Like I was really, really thinking about it. Like, it really was. Is the belly ropes kind of like doing like, uh, like on um, gymnastics? You know how the girls would do the belly flops on the bars? Is it kind of like that? Um, yeah, yeah, but it's hard. Like the, the that floor is like it's not a floor. It's like a it's like a spring floor, but a little bit harder. So having to like learn how to like break a fall. Like I had a migraine because we literally were just like slamming ourselves for like an hour straight, and it was a lot, but um, it was worth it. I had a really good time, and they said it gets easier. Obviously. So when are you taking down that girl? <laughs> As soon I, don't as she did that. <laughs> I don't know. She's so cool, though. I really like her. Clash of the Crowns? Clash of the Crowns. Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> did your mom scan you yet for your intro if you were to make it? I did not do this. I did not she scan. Didn't scan me. I'm, I'm going to do it. You, you Addict, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it. Remind me tomorrow. We'll do it. I, I don't, you, you know, I just had so much going on and. Darian, did you watch Nationals, Elite Nationals? Which one was that? Um, yeah, what we just watched. Oh, but yeah, I watched it. No, okay. No, 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 no. Because I was trying to get Miss Thing to commentate with me on that night, too. Because me alone is a disaster. <laughs> me alone, you, no one wants that. Yeah. What did you think about Nationals? Yeah, what did you think? I, I think, well, first of all, I feel like, I don't know if everyone's just tired, but it kind of just seemed like, Everyone was kind of all over the place. Like, I feel like there was a lot of falls. 
because this is two day of competition, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of falls. It was a little bit sloppy. Um, obviously, someone looked good. I feel like WCC looked good. They had their, you know, their issues, but I feel like they looked pretty decent. Simone was Simone. Um, what did she do? Ball. Ball mm -hmm. and beam. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what she did, but she, she usually looks ball. really clean. So, uh, But I just feel like everyone kind of looked it, – it's not like how gymnastics used to be. I feel like everyone used to be – a lot cleaner and you, like, would you would you say that's a, a fact of not having Marta around? Why are you canceled? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. I, mean, I don't know, but it's forever the diplomat. Forever the diplomat trying to be neutral on things. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like I don't know because there are also a lot of college athletes there, so maybe they were tired. It just looked a little bit off to me. I don't know. Do you How do you feel about the artistry role with the elite and having to How dance? How would you handle the artistry role, Darion? What's the rule? I don't know nothing about gymnastics. I just be there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rule? See, no, 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 Michaela, tell, her, tell her what you said. Darion? Okay, so that's a good question because, okay, as a fan, right, I I feel like I know too much about gymnastics. Like, it, like it, 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 it's something that's just always in the back of my brain, right? And it, it just really bothers, not bothers me, that's the wrong word. It just baffles me when somebody who's an actual gymnast knows nothing at all about the sport. Like, yeah. and, and it's just like. I don't know any other so rules. Do you, they, do you know, like, they do a lot with these rules, and it's just, that's too much. I can't be trying to do gymnastics and know all these rules. That is too much. So say, <laughs> say, say if you were to miss like a release on on uh, uneven bars, would you know to like do another skill to get the combination credit or no? Yeah, see, I know things like that, but oh, okay, cool. like the, well, I mean, those are that's, and they also teach you that. So, like when you're getting taught a routine, especially if you have a lot, uh, a lot of connections or bonus, they're gonna teach you. Like if you don't do this connection, so like my connection that I needed um, was Takacha packs. They were talking about bars. So if I didn't mm -hmm. do that, I would need to. If I just did Takacha and didn't connect it, I would just do handstand, toe hand, like pack. Like that's what I'm taught, so that I'm saving as many tenses as I can. I did want to ask you. <laughs> Girl, what happened that one year your hand slipped? Oh, I honestly don't know because the crazy thing is I warmed up perfectly. Like usually, no, I remember this. I I remember this. We were watching all together as a stream <laughs> live when that happened. Yes, we were like like how many like two hundred strong on the stream watching that happen. We all lost our collective minds. We're like, how did she <laughs> save that? Um. Yeah, the crazy thing is I warmed up really good. So I was really, I was ready for a great routine. And I think that's probably what it was because in my head, like everything was normal. Like I wasn't discombobulated or anything. Like uh, podium bars are kind of hard for me because of the bounce. Yeah. And so I feel like maybe that had a little bit to do with it because maybe I was kind of far when I caught. So probably the timing went off. But for me, like I warmed up so good. Like I was just already in my mind. I was like, this is going to be great. So. Even with that little mistake, I kind of just followed through and kind of trusted the process, and God was really on my side because I did not touch the ground. Amen. 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 And, and you just kept on like a warrior. But to to Michaela's point about artistry, so there are significant specific things you have to address in your fluid routine. One, your full entire body has to touch the apparatus, trunk, uh, right, right, Michaela, bottom, trunk back everything that touch the apparatus too you have to do something that uh showcases uh practice or training outside of gymnastics um three you have to touch uh, uh your music has to go along with your dance and you can't be offbeat on it and you have to um there has to be uh uh what is it uh different phases you have to hit like you, you can't be yeah. Uh, high to low. yeah yeah high to low and then you have to uh Oh, there has to be a slow, slow part of your music and a, a tempo changes. So that yeah. those are the artist introductions. So the last three make sense. Uh, I wouldn't want to see nobody off beat either. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That makes sense. And then what was the last? What was the last one you said? Tempo or something. Like oh, tempo. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But the touching every body part, like it's yeah. And and you have to showcase something. Uh, you have to do something that showcases training outside of gymnastics. That, see, I feel like that's extra. I don't feel like that's necessary. Well, they really got the girls on that last year. Right, Michaela? Jade Carey had a full uh, 1.3 off in deductions across the board. 
Well, she's not a dancer really either. She needs a 10.0 choreo routine. Well, you know, she 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 should call um Derek Goburn Jr. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think, think that's her style. I, I, well, that's what I'm saying. No, because I feel like I feel like because DJ, DJ, and I are friends in my mind. In my mind, we're, we're besties, right? So I feel like DJ <laughs> would be like, "Addicts, you are so right. She should have Roman's revenge as her floor." No, music. no. <laughs> Is it, okay, so but she she's so she's so shy. She should play a Somebody robot. Somebody needs to break her out of that first. I think. Because she'll never be able to showcase any type of artistry. I feel like she's the type of gymnast that wants to just go out there, get this. Jade on floor reminds me of Simone on bars. Let me just go here, hit these damn skills, not fall and walk the hell off. Is that, is, there you are, is that you on B? And now they yeah. want a performance yeah, on floor <laughs> where. They're uh. not like Beam. I mean that is that that's that's your iPhone. Why would you tumble on that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Four feet above the ground? Are we crazy? Oh, I got a question, and then I'm gonna go. Yeah. How do y'all feel about for the first time ever in the history of gymnastics, both on the men's side and the women's side, the podium was all people of color. I'm not surprised. No, you said, Darian said she's not surprised. You said, how do we feel I'm about that? I'm the men's side. I mean, because, you know, I don't pay attention to the men's side of the sport, so I didn't realize how many men of color. Right. And neither did I, Michaela, until I started really paying attention. But, yeah, I, when I went back and watched some of the stuff later, I was like, okay. Y'all. Cole Young, a revelation. Fred Richards, a revelation. Yeah. So I'm sad Sam didn't qualify to nationals. Me too, but he will. He'll. Yeah, I, I feel he like he'll come back. Yeah. Oh, he did it. No. He's so good. Yeah. Have you seen some of his training re recently? He's really good. Listen, his train. Have you watched his training videos? Yes, he's, he's like coming back with the fire. What? Ain't playing no games. And that's because you know what? Like I said, this year uh, we'll we'll go after this, Michaela. I'm sorry, because she's no, mama, good, you're good. mama is tired. I okay. See. No, y'all good. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, so I was telling Michaela, this is the year that the men have to really uh, go to Antwerp to Nina's house, Nina Darewell, the Embarrassed Champion, if you don't know um, Darion, because she's, she's, she's really nobody. doesn't really matter. She's not Sunni. Um, so they're going to Nina's background, a backyard, to Antwerp to go compete at Worlds. The men don't have to worry about the Russians. The Chinese is lessening a strong delegation. This is the year that they have to really step, as Michaela would say, step their pussy up. Or you, I cut the program. Or we're cutting the program. Right. I'm not saying cut the program, cut the program. but I really think this is a great opportunity to win a medal at World. It's like prove that they're just not like a secondary team to the women. Like, I agree. Did you see the comment? No. They said she needs that Vogue routine for the community. Rainbows. Jay Carey. No. I don't see her voguing. Maybe she can play a robot. <laughs> I'm a, you know what? Because I just never loved the pose gymnastics. Like, to watch a bunch of people just go out there and pose. Like Simone? Listen, I was so surprised when they said BJ did her floor. Listen, me too. I told, I told Michaela this. Because I was like, who lying on BJ? Yeah, no, like guess that? who choreographed uh, Jade's? Betty Okino. Yeah, I, I did, that that looked like a Betty Okino. Yeah, that because Betty gives these girls what fits them. See, and walks away, needs, and walks needs, away. Somebody needs to give them something outside of the box. Estella Ume. I love the Ume sister. Give a, a Derek Goldberg Jr. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Daryl, do you like her playing? I love her playing. It is. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. It says, "We love gymnastics airways." Wow. And, and, <laughs> and it has our 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 faces here. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Come on with the, with the uh, we get it back. I love that. 
Let me tell you. The, 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 the cute little PJ. Cute little PJ. <laughs> okay, Michaela. Yeah, I can. You know, oh my God, and is you're okay. Like, you're really okay. Like, you're not sweating. You're not gonna die. You're okay, right? Oh, I'm great. I, honey, it's done. It's over. It was not last year. Last year, they had me fucked up. Cause I was literally at Brody's house, grandma's house, like this, just, di- just dead in the bathroom. He's a pro at it. Rethinking. Rethinking and really reevaluating, like, where, why I was gay to begin with. Honestly. <laughs> Truly, that's what it was. I was like, Lord, help me. Why, I'm, why am I in this Caucasian home just dying for a gag? Why? Uh, why am I gay? It was. Too- I love you guys. I'm pretty go. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for watching, y'all. WLG 200. Thank you to our lovely guest. There. Oh, she she says I'm. She said I was done. She Bye. said I'm done. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. Thank you for having us celebrate. Bye. Bye. <laughs>